Hello and welcome back to Vox Mundi! This will be the last episode where we play as Valoi, so we'll try to finish up any business we have here and... Uh, well, the invasion of Anglia went really well and we have all of Western Anglia. I would have liked to have West Saxna, but I'm not going to sit through uh, how many years of truce it was. Let's take a look here. It is... Um, well... 10... Actually, 11 years of truce. No, I'm not going to play or sit passively by watching for, for 11 years. Not going to happen. Instead, I'm going to focus on uh, stabilizing our realm and converting as much, as, as much land as possible and doing other things like building buildings and getting our economy back on track. Right, so we're losing money right now because of advisors' maintenance, army maintenance primarily, and uh, fleet maintenance. But we still have quite a bit of cash. So let us start time here and look at those cores construct because they are probably going to help us with our monetary situation. And you can suppress some rebels and let's lower the army maintenance until we have gotten our economy back on track. So it looks like Great Moravia here won the war against Dacia and the only thing they had to do was to release Naxos. So Naxos has, uh, Naxos obviously, Athens and Thessaly. Um, interesting. I do not, oh right, Great Moravia is actually behind in administrative technology. That is probably why they haven't uh, taken more from their various wars. Oh, and they took Moldavia, I think? Yeah, they must have taken Moldavia. So uh, Dacia lost one province and was forced to release one minor nation. At least Great Baghdad did not pounce them, because they are busy attacking Seville, or perhaps defending against Seville? Not sure, it looks like the war between Seville and Fes is going uh, either way, really. Let's take a look at what the war is about. Um, relations, current wars. Castilian Crusade against Anglia. Interesting. Imperial Crusade against the Magyars. Okay. I think Great Moravia is going to win that one. Sevillan Crusade against Fes. Yeah, it's Seville Crusading against Fes. Uh, I am hoping that Fes get uh, these provinces back, because that would make their nation look much prettier, con containing almost all of West Africa and North Africa. Vinland and Kriokloklan have still not fought a single battle. Okay, Ferrara, you can fabricate on me all you like. I do not even care. We have no enemies. We only have Sydkeln as a rival. We need rivals. But who? Would it be uh, Ferrara? The Ferraran Commonwealth Army is 40% weaker than ours. What? Um, I guess? Yeah, let's put Perora as a rival, and who else? Lithuania? Is the power projection really worth it? Not enough rivals, well, of course then. Let's go for, uh, for Lithuania. Why not? It's uh, really a waste of a rival, but whatever. Get over there and take care of them. Uh, lose prestige. Okay. Rebels in Trier as well. Our lessened uh, army maintenance shouldn't really affect this. And now we're earning, well, still the same actually, 5.2. That's the same as earlier. We need to make more money. Yes, we can fire this guy when we have converted most of our stuff. Hmm. It's too bad that the papacy has subjects of its own, because otherwise we could... Um, Vassalize it and feed it its land back, but uh, seems like that is not going to be doable. Great Moravia has eaten so much of Germany. So much, and it's not converted it, so you can clearly see what used to be German here. Well, it's a converted some of them, but not a lot. Yeah, not looking great for them. Uh, sure, Castile, you can have access. And the cores are on the way. In Wicke, Morgan, Mierse, and uh, 
Chester Sayer or something? I'm not sure. Chester, I think. I may be wrong. Um, sure. Cheaper Diplo cost. I think that there's no places left in the world to colonize. I'm not sure if I'm right or not, but I'm guessing that's the case. Yeah, I see nothing. And I don't think we have any colonization miss missions left. Uh, let's take this mission just to scramble them a bit after it's done, because we're, we'll soon complete it. Right, the next one will be... Arvor. Yep, we're getting a major Fraticel Union here. Need to convert Sealand eventually, if possible. We should actually focus on the harder ones to convert first. For the simple reason that uh, if the plus two advisor die, it may be uh, impossible to convert it. Right, two cores are done and we're now earning... how much? 6.9, not bad. Uh, let's invest in this one. Alright. Morgandg is considered our patrimony. I do not want to lose stability. No, not at all. So, we can have another idea. Land attrition minus 25% and it would give us attrition for enemies. Is it worth it? No, we definitely need the next uh, level of military tech because it, it's got tactics. We cannot waste it on an idea. We need to be ahead in military if we're going to stay ahead. There we go. Ooh, and we got new uh, infantry. Grenzers. Actually, let's go for the Carolians. They're awesome. And... Uh, Arme Blanche cavalry, maybe? Yeah, looks good. And the last core is done. Complete the mission and get new missions. The rival of our rival. Tver? No. Re really? I don't care what Tver thinks of me. There are one province minor somewhere over in nowhere. I guess improved defenses in Poito is at least worth doing. Though we do not have the military points left. No! Right, we need to boost our stability. Actually, let's boost it twice. And we need to convert the hardest one. Alright, so Kerenov and Cornwall cannot be converted because we have uh, accepted demands there. Seeland is definitely one we want to convert. Otherwise, it's never going to get converted. It's also uh, still Dutch Gael. One of uh, Kriochlochland's old provinces. Man, Kriochlochland really expanded far and wide, and uh, that is uh, Sheng. So, so Sheng actually made it to America for all of you that really wanted them to do. Well, of course, except for this province. And Anglia is suffering some defeats over in America as well. Poor Anglia. I wonder if Castile is going to take land here? We are pa partitioni partitioning uh, Anglia, me and Castile. A claim on Köln. Ooh, Köln. That's a hot province. Yeah. It's the province where all of the German states started. All the Kölns of varying kinds. I like what I see. I hope they declare independence and I can take them out. Neatening out our borders. Oh, Alright, so uh, Anglia should be uh, signing a peace very soon. And I'm very interested in seeing what they will be going up. Or giving up. Come on, beat them. It's not that hard. Come on. Man. That was harder than I thought. Right, next mission is going to be spread our culture to Vande. Where's Vande? This is Breton. I guess. Let's take that. 
I really want to spread my culture to... Uh, hmm, where do I want to spread my culture? Do not want to get rid of, the, um, of these. Oh, here, of course, in Poitou. It's Akovitavian. Can't have that, can we? Man, is there any nation left? Oh, I, I guess Toulouse is uh, the Akovitavian Union. And they have been gaining some lands over here, oddly enough. This poor nation has been through a lot. It used to be um, a Karite state, close to Castile, and then it got overrun with rebels. And why is Anglia not signing a peace with Castile? They have almost everything sieged up, I think. No, they have South Africa left. Would be awesome if they moved their capital to South Africa. New Anglia in uh, South Africa. That would actually be kind of fun. Though it's not uh, going to happen as long as they have provinces here in Europe. Oh, we have a missionary that we haven't used. Uh, Poitou. Convert it. Uh, this is actually not bad. What we're going to do is save some admin by boosting up stability once. And then hire him. And now we have stability. And now we're earning some money. Some serious money. Let's keep army maintenance low. We do not need to increase it right now. But we do need to build up to our force limits. We can build 8 more units. So that will be 4 infantry and 4 cannons. And some cannons. There we go. More artillery and more cannon fodder. Oh, and Great Moravia is suffering some rebel problems. And did they fail their imperial conquest against Magyars? I'm not sure. <laughs> is Castile invading all the world? No, they actually signed a peace. But what did they gain? Did they gain anything? Nothing here. Ah, here! They have uh, annexed most of De Burgia. Anglian De Burgia. Castilian New Granada. At least I think so. Or was this before? Might have been. I'm not sure. Ah, alright, so the Papacelli Frat. Uh, the Fraticelli. Not the Papacelli. What the hell? The Fraticelli Papacy has moved overseas. Let's see where they went. Right, they have their capital in Carthago. And they have lost the province here to uh, Castilla New Granada. So they still have this as well, which looks very ugly. But so um, this is what is left of their Fraticelli community of the main. So we have uh, the Papacy over here and then a Fraticelli community over in uh, Colombia slash Peru. When the Iroquois have lost quite a few provinces. Indeed they have. Holy crap, Cleochlochlan has taken a lot. They do not even have um, administrative efficiency. I wonder what they, how they did it. Oh, of course. They might have used the uh, Pagan Causes Belly, which reduces the cost by quite a lot. Alright, improved irrigation. This gives us uh, administrative efficiency. So, Valoi is now on the warpath. Or AI Valoi will be... 69 troops stationed there. The best number, of course. Uh, should probably improve relations with uh, Great Moravia. I think they have... Uh, st uh, well, they still have the largest army in the world. By far. Holy crap. They have two times as much as the second one. But um, we have several really large powers, though. I mean, Castile, Great Baghdad, Sheng, Ferrar and Commonwealth. Us. Vinland, Kriochlochlan, Dacia. It's a world of superpowers. And all at the expense of poor Germany, or Köln. And the Ferraran Commonwealth should really jump on the hating Germany bandwagon and take back this. Oh, it's so ugly. Alright, let's convert Morgandvg. These all take uh, way less time. Mmm, delicious money. 
I really like the fact that Montenegro is here. It's Serbian and it's Druze, a religion that didn't even exist here. So it's probably just uh, revolted from religious rebels or humanist ideas or something. Which is very interesting. Oh, by the way, Naxos is Sikri. I didn't know. Hmm. Sultan Ilya Dorotheos. Hmm. They don't have any friends, though, so Dacia is probably just going to take them back. Though, right now they're fighting Sibir, the Magyars. Oh, they're fighting Great Moravia again. What kind of war is this? Um, current wars. Dacian conquest of Bratslav. It's Dacia and Crimea versus Sibir, Magyars, Great Moravia, Samarkand, Ossetia, and Kyrgyz. Eh, they didn't think something through. Where is Bratslav? Not sure. Probably up here somewhere. Where I didn't see it. Alright, next up is Mierse. Yes, away with the Cathars. Spread Fraticelli to England. They have yet to convert East Siaxe from uh, Orthodoxy. It's been Orthodox since uh, the start of the game. Oh, right, Flanders! Awesome. Let's take them out. Oh, they spawned as uh, Sunni. Interesting. I thought it would be Fraticelli. Eh, uh, Whatever. You can't do shit. And you didn't join in. Do I want to assault this, maybe? Yeah, that worked. And we sent the diplomat to close in time. Prestige, let us annex you. Full annexation. Nice. So we did some expanding even in this video. It is uh, a good day to be Valoi. Look at those beautiful borders. It looks awesome. Oh, right, we can even become the Defender of the Faith. Do we want to? I think we do. Yeah! And then we uh, convert even quicker with another uh, missionary. And we have uh, gained the Defender of the Faith, causes belly against Scotland, Toulouse, Netherlands, Verran, Commonwealth, Anglia. They're not loyal to the true faith. So I can force convert them, I guess? Not really sure. Hmm, I wonder if AI Valoi is going to attack the Ferraran Commonwealth. They may. Not sure. But I have a, a nagging feeling that they will. And I also have a nagging feeling that they will get involved in a war with Great Moravia. Ooh, look at this. This is not good for Dacia. They might be forced to release even more stuff. I really need to code some incredibly mean event for Great Moravia in Victoria 2. Something that just splits them up into several big nations. It's going to be interesting to figure out how to do that and what to do. Jämtland has taken Skåne, by the way. I never noticed when they did that. But I approve. Anything fun going on here? Texas is doing something with Maya? They just peaced out for some reason. Interesting, I thought they would uh, annex Maya, but no. Hmm, this war is still going on. Ooh, Malian nationalist Fess is suffering heavy war exhaustion. It's going to be, going to be interesting to see if they uh, spawn a lot of nations. Oh, by the way, Sistan has taken stuff back from Samarkand. How are the Mamluks doing? You haven't expanded anything? Well, okay. As you wish. Let's invest in a few cardinals. Kernov. Yeah, you can take care of that, but you need some uh, maintenance. Get over there. Yeah! Awesome! The missionaries are slogging along. Soon done. And uh, the year is 1694. Not a long time left to go.
I wonder how big Great Moravia will be at the end of this. Oh, by the way, Hanover? No, where did the Papacy... The Papacy was forced to release Hanover in some war? Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so now they have left Europe behind. We are the sole defenders of the faith. Of the Fraticella faith. Why, in the... There's an unstoppable wave of orthodoxy coming our way. Even though we're cracking down on uh, Cathar orthodoxy. We'll probably win and reign supreme. We have soon converted everything we can convert as well. Mm, not bad. Yes, you can have uh, military access, Great Moravia. Don't attack me. The Magyars have regained some territory. Oh, by the way. Okay, so Dacia lost Bosnia. Yeah, they lost Bosnia and was forced to give this back to the Magyars. Great Moravia, wanna marry me? Yeah, sure. Whatever. I, I just wanna keep you off my back, man. Does this mean you wanna ally me? No, but almost. Hmm. Well, I'm fine with having you friendly. Uh, right. Tolerance of the true faith and yearly papal influence. Yeah, don't need it. I'll rather take the tech. This is uh, diplomatic tech, though. Well, let's uh, let's take it. Hmm. Nah. Ooh, not good. Well, lose, let's lose the stability. Don't want to lose uh, legitimacy. It's too hard to get back. Hmm. Ooh, Castile. Who are you fighting? You're fighting. Is this Sheng? No, that's Great Baghdad. Sheng and uh, Korea and Great Baghdad. In what kind of war? Let's uh, go out and in to refresh. It's the... Uh, no, that's uh, Korea against Tamarkand and Shagatai. Wait, what? Korea against... Oh, right, Shagatai border Korea, actually. Oh, man, Korea is enormous. Vinlander conquest of Sheng. Vinland versus Sheng. Now this is a bizarre war, but one I definitely hoped we would see. So it's Vinland and Castile versus Sheng, Brunei, Ake, Takahashi, Korea and Great Baghdad. And Vinland seem to be winning. All right, they are taking uh, the west coast of America. Anyway, in the next episode we will be playing as something new, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.